YouTube channel. I've no idea why I'm wearing sunglasses because it's not sunny yet, but it's very early in the morning and we've been invited to a supercar meet by Zen Car Driver. Now, Zen Car Driver has in his collection a McLaren Senna, a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, which has been on the channel before. He's got a Ferrari 488 Pista and a few other cars. So he said to me, do you want to come to this car meet? I'm taking the Senna and you can take the 488 Pista. And I said, of course, I'd love to come. So we're up at the crack of dawn. We're close to his house and we turn up and we looked in the garage and we saw an AMG GTR Pro and we said, could we take that instead? And he said, yes, you can. <laughs> so we're going to be taking the GTR Pro, which I've never driven before. I have done a review on my channel of the AMG GTR a long time ago and that got 450,000 views and I'm not sure why but it did really well so maybe this one will do really well as well. So we're going to be taking the AMG GTR Pro and we're going to be chasing a McLaren Senna. So come along and join us for the ride. <laughs> you're in you need petrol so we're at a petrol station so I thought we'd stop and show you both cars together to see how incredible they look da -da -da! the GTR Pro looks great but then you have this spaceship in front of it let's go and have a look at the center oh my god look at that rear wing look at that it's bigger than me I'd love to lie on it but it's not the right spoiler What's really special about this car is the paint. I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but this stripe here changes color in different angles and the paint has crystals in it as well. I think this was 80,000 pound paint job, 80,000 pounds. Let's have a look inside. Center seats. Okay, so we're jumping back into the GTR Pro and we're gonna follow the center. And we put over here, We've put, hold on, come with me. We've put a GoPro here on the Mercedes, so hopefully we're gonna get some really cool shots of the Senna. We'll see you soon.
Welcome to Lamborghini Tunbridge Wells. We have some amazing cars turn up today, but Jay, my cameraman, wants me to start with this. Jay, what is this? Megane RS, 1.8 turbo, four wheel steering, four wheel drive. What makes it special? It's one of the best hot hatches ever. It's orange. Very yeah, orange. Very nice. What's also orange is this GT8, which is one of my favorite cars in the world. I love the GT8. Great build quality, great engine, manual gearbox, naturally aspirated, sounds amazing, looks pretty good. I prefer the green one that we filmed for YouTube. 458 Speciale, we got a few Lamborghinis, but let's move on to something really special. And the GTR Pro is probably one of the most special cars here. There's actually a few here today. This car was absolutely lovely, lovely driving down. We're gonna do a little bit more of a review on the way back, but we've got some very, very special cars. Come with me, Jay. Blue Aventador. Yeah, that's nice. Looks pretty good, right? R8, V10, the new one. What's the new one called? <laughs> I know it's got these little slats in it. Is this the performance? Yeah. I think we've got one of these coming to a drag race soon. 612 brake horsepower is going to be very interesting. But one of the shows of the star is a Ford GT. Check this out. Ooh. That's got to be one of the best looking cars here. And. Oh, look what's coming out. Let's get that. SE30 Lambo. Nice color. Nice color. 991.2 GT3 RS. I love this car. Love, love, love. Look at the color and the wheels. Gold wheels. Love. Love, love. GT2 RS. I like this little carbon thing. That is cool. That is cool. Why hasn't he got it on all of them? Yeah, nice number plate as well. 1111 Topaz. And we have Zen car drivers, Senna. I really want to drive this. I might ask him if he'll let me drive it home instead of the Mercedes. There's one other car I want you to see here. Very old school, like me. Jaguar XJ220. You don't really see many of these around. It's got your number plate, JJJ. Let's have a look at the engine bay. Look at that. Only a six cylinder engine. Let's have a look at the back. Old, old school. And look at this, look at this diffuse. Can you get under there? That's, that's pretty incredible, right? Look at that. That's pretty cool. So, what else have we got? We've got an Aventador SVJ Roadster there, which is pretty nice. So we're rounding up at Lamborghini. Most people have now left, but I wanted to show you a very, 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 very cool car that just turned up as everyone was leaving. A Lamborghini Performante Spider. I don't know the color. I'm really sorry, I'll look it up. But done the yellow lights like uh, Tom did with his Pista. French spec. I just let you look at that. I don't need to talk. <laughs>
We've left Lamborghini Tunbridge Wells and it's only 20 past 12 and we've had such a busy morning. We are um, heading back now. We've got the center in front of us and uh, what an amazing car meet that was. I've never seen so many cars in one place. And given the weather, it was absolutely freezing outside. It was pretty impressive that all those cars turned up. The highlights for me, F40 looked spectacular. Ford GT, the old and the new. The Performante Spider in green looked incredible. Uh, we met the owner of the XJ220 who said we can film with his car soon. So gonna be looking forward to driving that. And uh, obviously Mazin's GT2 RS looked spectacular. And um, wow, wow, amazing car meet. So we're driving uh, the GTR Pro back and we've had a lot of time in this car now, quite a few hours. And I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with the car. It sounds so good. There's an exhaust button on the side that you can press to make it even louder. And when you change down, so we're in seventh gear, when you change down to fourth, oh, it gives you that lovely AMG sound that you're used to. And it's really impressive, it's a turbocharged engine, but it doesn't sound turbocharged at all, this car. So even though cars are going turbocharged, it is possible, it is possible to have a car that sounds pretty good. The, um, the AMG GT Pro is really, really comfortable. And um, I'm looking in my mirror here and we've got two McLarens about to pass me. I think 600 LT, yes, nice, with blue calipers and a 675 LT, hello, hello. We've got 600 LT, 675 LT, and a Senna. Let's try and catch up with them. Look at that, three McLarens. What a day, what a day. Look at that. I didn't even mention the 675 LT. There was a couple of LTs that three 675 LTs, and they still look fantastic. They really do. So the GTR. Really, really comfortable ride, really nice on UK roads, really great engine. It looks spectacular, especially with this lovely stripe that he's done in green. I really like the look. I don't think there's a huge difference between this and the AMG GTR. I'm not sure you would notice the difference between the Pro and the standard car, unless you were taking it around a racetrack. I haven't felt any difference. Maybe if I drove them back to back, I'd feel a difference, but I think the AMG GTR and this feel very, very similar. And like I said earlier, I think AMG GTR now is really, really good value for money. You get the Mercedes build quality, you get the lovely sound of that V8, and you get a car that's just so comfortable to drive. The only downside, I think, to this car, the bonnet's really, really long. So if you're driving a lot in, a city like London has lots of narrow roads. You may find it a little bit challenging. You never feel that this hasn't got enough power. This car's always got power in reserve. Unbelievable acceleration. Whoa. There's not many things that feel like this when you put your foot down. It really gives you a shove in the back. Really nice. Quality product from AMG. Well done. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Jay for coming along today and filming, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Oh,